Elon Musk has started planning the next generation of starships. We all know Starship, SpaceX's rocket headed for the stars, from the amazing stainless steel that it utilizes to its reusability and cost-effectiveness, Starship is just plain amazing. With such groundbreaking technology and innovations, you would think Musk would be satisfied, but that's not the case. This flagship rocket is just the beginning, and Musk has already begun working on a larger, more capable spacecraft. But what could Musk possibly do to make Starship even better? In today's video, we will be taking a sneak peek into Musk's plan for Starship 2.0. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably caught wind about SpaceX's gigantic Starship project. When the spaceship and its super heavy booster are combined, the craft will be the tallest, heaviest, and most powerful space rocket that has ever been destined for outer space. Elon Musk expects that Starship will someday contribute to the colonization of Mars, a long-term aim shared by both SpaceX and NASA. In fact, SpaceX's significant strides forward can be compared to NASA's accomplishments of the 60s and 70s. No other spacecraft has come even close to the innovations this one-of-a-kind rocket possesses. But perhaps the most impressive part of Starship is that it's the world's first fully landable, reusable rocket, capable of launching people, satellites, or Mars rovers into space and bringing them back. Much like the Falcon rockets, the Starship system will also return to Earth for refurbishment, allowing the company to slash costs and undercut competitors' prices. Simply put, Starship has transformed the game, making features of space travel such as reusability and commercial flight much more feasible. While you may think that Starship's remarkable achievements and advancements would be enough, it appears that Musk is already a few steps ahead. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk hinted in a quick tweet in August of 2019 that SpaceX's gigantic Starship would be followed by a rocket several times larger. He wrote on Twitter, probably 18 meters for next-gen system. But what does this mean? When fully fueled, the Starship we know and love today is about 9 meters tall and weighs around 40,000 metric tons. Even with the current prototype's dimensions, the entire Starship and Super Heavy booster will be the largest and most powerful rocket ever built, with a thrust of 90,000 kilonewtons. Musk claims that the future Starship will measure 18 meters or 60 feet broad, which is wider than an NBA basketball court and more than twice the diameter of its predecessors. That's a huge rocket, which implies it'll have more thrust, power, and capability. Doubling the Starship's diameter will allow it to carry more people and cargo. However, raising the diameter of the ship from 9 to 18 meters would not only increase its width. One of the first things we learn in school is that doubling the diameter of a circle quadruples its area. With a doubling of height, a theoretical Starship 2.0 would have eight times the surface area and propellant tank volume than Starship 1.0. It would also require roughly eight times the thrust, thus making the vehicle eight times as heavy. As a result, the sequel to the Starship will be the highest and largest spaceship ever built. If the size of the spacecraft is increased, the comforts on board are likely to increase as well. The ship will have more access to movies, seminars, restaurants, and of course, zero gravity games making trips to space a comfortable and fun experience. Let's face it, a journey through outer space is undoubtedly extremely constricting and claustrophobic. If SpaceX builds a huge starship, passengers will have a lot more room to explore as they approach the moon, Mars, and even beyond. Without a doubt, a sequel to Starship sounds like a great idea, but it does beg to question of how an 18-meter ship like this can lift off the ground. It'll need a significant amount of energy, that's for sure. The Raptor engines that are now being used for the first Starship would be insufficient to launch this beast into orbit. The 18-meter model will be a goliath of a rocket, requiring over 100 Raptor engines just to get off the ground. But it's unlikely that SpaceX would continue using the engine to power the colossal giant. As a result, a new Starship will likely be built alongside new Raptor engines. Anything less will simply not be able to handle the weight of Starship 2.0. A starship that is doubled in size will be able to carry more passengers and make them considerably more comfortable. Starship 1.0 can accommodate about 100 passengers on board, so it's only safe to assume that the next iteration will be capable of carrying 200. Due to its excellent density and thermal qualities, stainless steel will be used to construct the starship. This will be large enough to accommodate 200 passengers and plenty of cargo. But that's not all. Apart from his plan to build a larger, more powerful iteration, Musk is also building numerous versions of the spacecraft that can transport cargo 
and make transit on Earth more convenient. That's correct, SpaceX is developing a mode of transportation for our planet nicknamed Earth Starship. How would this function in practice, you might be thinking? The Starship would take off from a major metropolitan area, ascend to the atmosphere, cross the planet's curvature, and then descend and land on the opposite side of the planet. A typical plane ride from Florida to Afghanistan usually takes around 16 hours. But not if you ride on board the Earth's Starship. With Starship, you'll be making that journey within 50 minutes, traveling at a speed of 7,500 miles per hour. At that speed, you can travel the length of the globe in less than an hour. Because it aims to transport passengers around the world at record-breaking speeds, this form of ship will place huge pressures on airlines. SpaceX has the potential to knock a few airlines out of business, particularly if they make this type of travel affordable. Airlines and businesses, on the other hand, might be able to participate. They would also be able to form contracts with SpaceX and employ the technology on their own. Hearing this, you might think that Starship's goal for this type of travel is a little far-fetched. But the idea of transporting around the world in record-breaking speeds might only be a few years away. SpaceX has already teamed up with the US Air Power to launch 100 tons of cargo from America and land it wherever on the planet about an hour later. Of course, this company has a lot of details to work out. First and foremost, SpaceX must complete the ship's construction. Second, they would have to set up launch stations all around the globe. The company would also need to figure out other aspects, like how a human body can tolerate accelerating 25 times the speed of sound in a matter of minutes. Or how will air traffic be able to adapt to rockets blasting off left and right in the sky? But if there's one person that could pull it off, it's Elon. But that's not all. SpaceX is also working on a lunar starship that will launch in 2024. This craft was built for NASA's Artemis program under a contract. SpaceX and NASA have teamed up to bring the first women and person of color to touch the lunar surface, and they'll do so with the specialty-built lunar copy of the Starship. The only people who landed on the moon's surface in 1972 were Caucasian men, and the lunar South Pole has never been visited by women before. So the Artemis program is not just a vital stepping stone for humans attempting to land on Mars, it's also a forward step for diversity, and SpaceX has the honors to have the hand in both. SpaceX has garnered a lot of attention for its bold claims and successful outcomes in its mission to colonize Mars. For the time being, Starship and Super Heavy are pretty ambitious enough on their own. But it's not shocking to hear that Musk is already planning what could follow the next generation launch vehicle in the next coming decade. Starship was SpaceX's utterly non-traditional attempt to rewrite the book on rocket manufacturing. It's the stepping stone to building a far more practical vehicle in the future. Starship 2.0 will pack a punch, and we can't wait to see what Musk and his crew will think up next. Are you excited for Starship 2.0? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe with post notifications for more SpaceX videos.